I've been with ABB for a little over 20 years now, and uh, I've been working in the pulp and paper industry. And part of my mission is to help our paper makers to have a very good sense of correlation strategy. Therefore, you know, we'll help them to uh, have a very good program so they can save costs on raw material usage and energy consumption, you know, to increase their profit. So that's part of my mission. In the paper making industry, that is a comparison between the online sensors and the offline lab. So when I talk about the online sensor, that's usually the sensors inside of a scanning platform. And the offline lab, you know, we have a lot of standalone equipment in the quality control lab. So a sense of correlation is about doing a comparison. When you have two watches, you don't know what the right time is, right? So typically we set one as a standard Usually it's a lab. We make that our standard measurement, and then we correlate the online sensor measurement to match the lab measurement. So that's our goal, and that is sensor correlation. A lot of people confuse between these terms, and they are very different actually. Sensor calibration is a comparison between a known standard and the instrument that you are trying to calibrate. So for example, you, you know, control your measure your input and then you control your output so that you have a repeatable and reliable measurement. You build that relationship between your known standard and your, your instrument that you're gonna measure. It, it's really in a paper making industry, this really has nothing to do with measuring a paper maker's property at this point. We're just building a relationship between the standard and the online sensors in this case. So for example, if we want to calibrate a caliper sensor, we just measure a set of standards and you build that relationship between your caliper sensor, the thickness, and the, your standard. Once that relationship is created, you're done with calibration. Then after the sensor is calibrated, we use a set of, you know, we call them check samples to do perform uh, monthly check samples. That's only to check the repeatability of this, the, this sensor. This is not correlation. With sense of correlation I talked about, that's to compare your online sensor with the offline quality control lab. That's the relationship for correlation. So you can see that they're different. A calibrated sensor doesn't mean it's a correlated sensor, right? When you have these online sensors, I talk about the difference between calibration and correlation. If the sensor is only calibrated, you're only there measuring repeatable measurement. It does not mean it has accuracy. It will have precision, but not accuracy. So it's gonna take that sense of correlation process to make it measure more accurately. You know, the environment changes, like you have the source decay, you have paper making, you know, chemical changes. So that all affects this online measurements. So you need that sense of correlation program to help you to make sure your measurement is accurate. That's the key. So first of all, they have to have a standard. What are they gonna follow? Usually we follow the TAPI standard. TAPI stands for Technical Association of the Pulp and Paper Industry. So they set the golden standard for sensor correlation. And for each paper mill, they have to look at what sensors they have, the locations of these sensors, and look at their process. They have to pick the sensor correlation method. So for example, okay, I wanna test the moisture content of this piece of paper. I'm gonna be using an oven. The oven has to be set at 105 degrees Celsius, according to the TAPI standard, and then you know how much drying time it's gonna take. They have, the paper maker will have a standard operating procedure for each online sensor they're gonna correlate. It's really critical that they follow the standards and then the people working in the quality control lab, they will be working with the paper makers on the machine floor, you know, when to take samples and how to test it in the lab, how to get data, and based on the results, they have to determine, okay, at what point we need to correlate that online sensor? At point, what point we need to make a change? So they need to set that expected deviation 
that the expected deviation is what's achievable, what's reasonable between the online sensor and the, the offline lab. And that deviation usually comes from three areas. The sensor, online sensor accuracy itself, the process deviation, and the lab accuracy. So all of these three areas will contribute to this error, we can call the error between the lab and the online sensor. So it's really critical to have a good sense of correlation strategy. This will help them to achieve you know, very accurate results.